Yay. <laughs> Jeff? <laughs> what episode is it? Uh, season five, episode 40. 43. <laughs> Here we go. Another Strivecast. Big show today. Big show. Should we uh, introduce ourselves? I'm Jeff. No part Thompson. There's our two hosts. How about our sound and video engineer? I am Ryan, the sound and video engineer. All right. Uh, ladies? Hi, I'm Whitney. Hello, I'm Alex. And I'm Pete. Welcome back to another exciting episode of the Strivecast. What are we going to do today, guys? Oh, really way game. We are, in fact, going to play the newlywed game, one of our favorites. Oh, and Noel has tips for weddings and marriage he's holding up on a post-it note. Ooh, that ought to be Hear those. All right. And we are going to play the newlywed game. Who is getting married? Maggie. Uh, uh, I, I think it's Pete. It is not Pete. Uh, it is Maggie and Will are, are going to be joining us a little bit later in the show to play the newlywed game. And they'll take on... Uh, Noel and Jeff as the the roommates that know each other the best, um, trying to get on the board. There, I think they're zero and two historically in a newlywed game. Yeah. Today might be a victory. <laughs> so that a lot of fun ahead with that. And then we've got Jeff. Do you have an ask Jeff question today from a listener? Uh, yes, Pete. I am ready for that question. <laughs> okay, then we'll get to that too, and probably some trivia, right? Yes, I love trivia. Okay. All right. Anything else that we should talk about before we get started? Do we still talk about the um legal shield? Yes, we do. All right. This is this episode is brought to you by Legal Shield. Good good thought, Noel. Yeah. Our friends at Legal Shield, give them a call. Yep. Anything else? Uh no. <laughs> Don't give them a call right now. <laughs> Okay, then I think we should probably uh, get get started. So, Jeff, do you want to take us to break? You got it, Pete. Uh, we'll be right back. All right, we're back. And uh, what time is it now? The newly wet game. It is time to play the newlywed game. Alex, would you like to introduce this segment? Yes, we are so excited to play our third round of the newlywed game on the Strivecast. Today, we are going to have Maggie and Will taking on former roommates Jeff and Noel to see who knows each other better. All it's right. Strivecast version of the newlywed game. Okay, <laughs> and we should point out, as we did in the open, that Jeff and Noel are 0 for 2 in this. So, <laughs> a little bit of pressure here, Maggie and Will. Thanks. I'll keep the streak alive. <laughs> um, before we get started, Noel, did you have a question? Oh, how long did you get together? How long have we been together? <laughs> um, Almost six years, right? Six years in September. Yeah. Long time. One, of the questions. one point for Maggie and Will. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. Jeff and Noel, how long have you guys been friends? Since 2004. Okay. I think even before that, but that's when you guys yeah. were in. You guys got us beat by quite a bit. Right. So um, the way this is going to work is we're going to put, I believe, Maggie and Jeff into a breakout room for just a minute and we're going to ask uh will and noel the questions and then we'll have jeff and maggie return to us and we'll ask them and see if the answers match and if they match they get a point um obviously the most points is victorious so uh, are we ready we're ready um, yes maggie and will If someone Maggie, could Jeff help <laughs> Jeff getting into the breakout room, that would be great. <laughs> yep. All right, you should have just got the request. I, 
I, I, I, I don't know how this is going to work. <laughs> yes. All right. All right. We'll just wait we'll for Jeff to head on over and then we'll get started. We have 10 questions for our contestants today. Hey. All right. Will and Noel, are you ready? <laughs> yes. And remember, you're answering this for the other person. So, Noel, pretend you're Jeff and you're answering this like you think Jeff would answer it, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Question one. What TV... Oh, we'll start with Will. Question one. What TV show would Maggie want to star in? Ooh. I think... Hmm. I'm going to go with Ted Lasso. Ted Lasso? Good choice. And Noel, what uh, TV show do you think Jeff would like to star in? Let's see. I, 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 SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> okay. Question two. When Maggie eats her cereal, does she pour the milk in the bowl first or the cereal in the bowl first? Not a big cereal eater, but I, I'm hoping that she goes cereal first and then milk. Um, I think that's a universal way of doing right, it. That's the only right answer there. I was going to exactly. say, the wedding so, might have to be off if it's I know, the other we'll way see. around. Like it's... We'll see here. <laughs> All right, Noel, Noel, same question to you. What do you think? Does Jeff put the cereal in the bowl first or the milk in the bowl first? Um, I think the cereal in the bowl first. Good answer. All right, question three. What's Maggie's favorite type of candy? Um, ooh, I think Hershey's, the cookies and cream bars are Again, definitely the only right choice. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's I, I think that's number one on, on her list. Uh Noel, what's Jeff's favorite candy? Um not, the I think that I think it's M&M's. Uh, um, M&M's. Awesome. Okay, Will, does Maggie prefer the cake or the frosting? I, it probably depends on the frosting. So I'm going to go with cake as a safe, as a safe answer. And Noel, does Jeff, do you think Jeff prefers to eat the cake or the frosting? The frosting. This next question is a throwback <laughs> to Will's first time on the podcast. What's Maggie's favorite thing to cook at McDonald's? Ah, uh, yes. Um, <laughs> I go her her go to order is the uh, the two cheeseburger meal, but you have to add the mac sauce. Mm -hmm. Like a little uh, hint there. So just to cook it at McDonald's, Alex. <laughs> That was my original question was, was what, what I wanted to, what my favorite thing to cook was. Oh, right. <laughs> Same question to you, Noel. What do you think Jeff's favorite thing to cook at McDonald's is? I think a grilled chicken sandwich. Grilled chicken sandwich. No, they don't have that anymore. <laughs> Maybe he'll bring it back. Oh, oh, a hamburger with lettuce on top. Okay. <laughs> All right, who would play Maggie in a movie about her life? Oh gosh. Um this is I can't hmm. I can't remember their name. They're in the Harry Potter series and it's not I don't think it's Emma Watson, but I'm just going to go with that cuz I can't remember the other person's name, but it's like the little sister of somebody who everyone says she looks like. So. Oh yeah. Did you maybe did you, did you read him? I read him. But... Okay. Uh, Noel, same question to you. Who would play Jeff in a movie about his life? Oh. Uh, Don't I say know. Hillary Duff. No, <laughs> um, not Hillary Duff. No, but Hillary Duff is already playing Noel, Noel, according oh, to Jeff. Okay. Uh, I, I think it would be. Um. Uh, if Jesse Kasopoulos in the motorcycle movie called 
wired racer motorcycles. Wow. I don't know if you understood the question. (laughs) Uncle Jesse, (laughs) if they were making the movie about Jeff's life, Uh, Jeff's story, uh, who would be the star? Who would be acting as Jeff? Brad Paisley. Brad Paisley. Uh, okay. Right. What is Maggie's go-to karaoke song? I don't know. There's probably too many to. Um, can, can I just go like anything by Harry Styles? Sure. Yeah, yeah. I not not one specific song, but probably she knows every word to every song. So. <laughs> All right, Noel. What is Jeff's go-to karaoke song? Well, Noel, this is your this is where your time to shine comes in. Yeah, I know. The big time rush and help. No, help. no, not help. Um, it is something forget about you by Big Time Rush? Yeah. Okay. If Maggie could only write with one color pen for the rest of her life, what color would it be? <laughs> hmm. Uh, we'll go with blue. Good answer. Noel, if Jeff could only write with one color pen for the rest of his life, what color would it be? What? You can't what? just shake your head. You <laughs> need to tell us. I know it's a good question. <laughs> Brown. Brown. Brown pen. <laughs> Um, what's Maggie's favorite holiday? Uh, ooh, I think I think it's Thanksgiving. I think that's yeah. And Noel, what's Jeff's favorite holiday? Christmas. No, I know. I think that, yeah, we can call Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Final question: What is Maggie's favorite vacation spot? Uh, I think it's uh, North Captiva in Florida. Okay. Little island there. Yeah, we went there last year. Cool. Noel, what is Jeff's favorite vacation spot? Okay, it's the beach outside the water from SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> um... <A> real place. <laughs> Do you want a second? Oh, oh real place. Kenny Bunkport. Oh, sorry, I was confused. Oh. Kenny Bunkport? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Kenny Bunkport? That's what yeah. I said. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. Are you ready to bring back Jeff and Maggie and see if how well you guys know them? Let's do yeah. it. All right. How confident do you feel with your answers? I don't know. We'll see. I I know I have a couple right and then, yeah, a few up in the air. So we'll see. Feeling good about your answers, Noel? Yeah. Welcome back, Jeff and Maggie. Hello. Thank you. Are you ready to see how well Will and Noel know you guys? Let's do it. I'm nervous. So we're going to ask you the same questions we asked them. Okay. Start with you, Maggie. What TV show would you want to star in? Ooh, um, oof. I would say one of my favorites to watch is Great British Bake Off. I don't know if that's what Will said. It is not. It is oh, not. no. <laughs> what We're about not a reality well. show? He said Ted Lasso. Oh, that's a good one, too. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't thinking reality TV. So. <laughs> All right, Jeff. What TV uh, yeah. show would you want to star in? What um, do you think Noel said that you would want to star in? Um, I want to, 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 to start in the the the, the Big Off. <laughs> you and Maggie could be a team. <laughs> oh my God, we'd be great, Jeff. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's not what Noel said. He said you would want to star in Spongebob Squarepants. <laughs> Uh, no, I will not. Start. <laughs> okay. 
So zero zero after one round. <laughs> Hot start. Hot start. All right, Maggie. When you are um, eating cereal, do you put cereal in the bowl first or milk in the bowl first? Um, I never eat cereal, but if I were to, I would put cereal in the bowl first. Exactly. There's Pretty a, much word for word what Will point. said. Okay. <laughs> Uh, what about you, Jeff? Cereal first or milk first? Um, Alex, I say uh, cereal first. That's what Noel said too. <laughs> one to one. All right. All right, Maggie. What is your favorite candy? Favorite type of candy? Um, it's kind of a toss up between two, but I would say Reese's. Or oh. or her or. Hershey's cookie and cream bar. It's kind of a tie. Yeah. I will happily eat both. That's like an assist to Alex on that one, I think. We can do half of them. (laughs) Definitely. All right, Jeff, what's your favorite candy? Um, my favorite candy is Reese's. Or (laughs) or Oreos. Or or Uh, um, chocolate pie. Okay. Noel <laughs> said M and M's. Uh, nope. I don't like M. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Great question. He goes, uh, nope. Hey, okay. Maggie and Will in the slight lead now. Mm-hmm. Ew. All right, Maggie. When you're eating a piece of cake, do you prefer the cake part or the frosting part? Um, I would say frosting part. <laughs> Will, I think we need to have a chat. <laughs> Will did say, depending on the type of frosting, you might say frosting. But he yeah, wouldn't. that's fair. <laughs> Jeff, big lot riding on this. Jeff, cake or frosting? Uh, frosting. Correct. That's what Noel said. <laughs> uh oh. All right, Maggie, what is your favorite thing to cook at McDonald's? <laughs> <laughs> okay, my favorite thing to cook. Um, I don't know. I mean, I my favorite thing to order, which is I like the two cheeseburger meals, but it has to have mac sauce on it. <laughs> there you go. That's exactly what Will said. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me sad that that's the one that we got the most right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jeff, same to you. Favorite thing at McDonald's? Um, um, uh, um, the same question as... No, we um, need to know what you would order. <laughs> what would you order uh, at McDonald's? Um, burger, uh, I mean, uh, chicken and fries. That's pretty close. Like Noel, that? Noel said a grilled chicken sandwich, so... We'll take the chicken. Uh, yeah, a bit of chicken. Chicken and french fries. <laughs> or a hamburger with lettuce. How do you feel about those? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, Maggie. If someone made a movie about your life, who would play you? Oh, um, I don't know. I don't know if I've ever thought about that. <laughs> Jeff says he would. <laughs> you would play me, Jeff? <laughs> Oh, yes. I would definitely buy tickets to that movie. (laughs) Same. (laughs) Um, I don't know. I can't even, like, think of an actress. Um, hmm. I love Emma Watson. Good answer. Just stop the sentence there, Maggie. (laughs) 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 Perfect. Incorrect. Will actually said yeah. uh, (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> all right jeff who would noel pick to play you what was that pete who would noel pick to play you in the movie about um, jeff um i think um eric beals who is that? <laughs> who's eric beals <laughs> what who is eric beals uh eric uh Beals, he, uh, he played on NCIS Los Angeles. 
I should have known that. Okay. No, did not say him. Uh, no, no said Brad Paisley. <laughs> Brad Paisley? <laughs> Who's Brad Paisley? Uh, he's a country singer. <laughs> I'm not a country singer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question. Maggie, what is your go-to karaoke song? Oh, boy. Um, oh, God. I don't sing, ever. Um, but I guess if I had to choose one... I don't know. Anything by Harry Styles, honestly. Uh, there we go. Stop right there again. That's exactly what Will said. Perfect. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Jeff? Yes. Song? What, um, what did Noel pick for you? What? What did Noel pick for you as a karaoke song? I don't know. Yes? That's kind uh, of the game. What well, game you're supposed to get. <laughs> oh, um, uh, considerable. What? Who, who sings it? What? Who sings that? Oh, uh, I mean, I mean, considerable. Yes. Back to voice. Uh, unfortunately, Noel said, "Big time rush." Um, something about forgetting you. Um, nope, that's not correct. <laughs> <laughs> no chance for that. Uh, oh okay. no! <laughs> I I would have gone big time rush too, Noel. So not a bad guess. All right, Maggie, if you could only write with one color pen for the rest of your life, what color would that pen be? Uh, blue. Yes, that's what Will said. Sorry to pull away, away with it here. <laughs> uh, Jeff, one color pen, what color would it be? Uh, blue. Uh, Noel said brown. <laughs> uh, nope, I say blue. <laughs> uh, uh, blue is my favorite color. <laughs> Makes sense. Also, not a lot of brown pens. Yeah. I don't think I've ever the seen The only thing that comes in a lot of those non standard colors is gel pens. That's not right. regular mm -hmm. ring pens. That's true. All right, Maggie, what's your favorite holiday? Uh, Christmas. Mm -hmm. Will said Thanksgiving. Oh, uh, that's, that's a good guess. <laughs> uh, Jeff, what's your favorite holiday? Yes, to get um, a point. Um, Alex, actually, my favorite holiday is Christmas. Oh, as we all said. Sorry, Will. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Both great holidays. <laughs> all right, final question, Maggie. What's your favorite vacation spot? Um, we go to Panther Pond, which is in Raymond, Maine, every year. So it's my favorite place on earth. So I would say that. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> what if you had to go like, on vacation outside of the state of Maine? Where would you go? <laughs> okay, outside of the state of Maine, I would say North Captiva, which is in Florida. <laughs> Good choice. That's what I said. Okay. Jeff, if you get this one, I will buy you a chicken sandwich at McDonald's. <laughs> Jeff, where's your favorite uh, vacation spot? Real, real vacation spot. Let me just say that. Okay. Um, uh, Captiva. <laughs> Have you been? Uh, yes. What if you, so opposite of Maggie, what if you had to go in the state of Maine? Where would you go? Alex just asked you a question. Uh, what? Where would oh, you go if you had to go on vacation God. in Maine? <laughs> uh, um, I think, um, it's fine. Uh, um, I think it's gonna be I'll just be New Hampshire. <laughs> That's not me. How about if you had to go on a cartoon? <laughs> where would you go? What would that be? If you had to go on vacation in a cartoon, where would you go? Uh, Vegas. <laughs> well, I think that's over three. Well, you got none of those right. <laughs> Noel said, um, Kenny Bunkport for a real location and the ocean outside of SpongeBob. <laughs> It's an imaginary location. <laughs> All right, let me do some quick math. Okay. Those are some creative questions. <laughs> nice job. Thank you, Maggie. Oh, you're welcome, Jeff. Did you come up with those yourself? Uh, yes. 
did not. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I, I did not, but I mean, well, we won't let you answer them. Came up with a question. <laughs> I mean, most of the questions was about Maggie. Uh, <laughs> You're about both of you. Okay, the scores. All right, right we have some <laughs> scores. Are you ready? Do we have a winner? We we do have a, a clear winner, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> Um, in second place with three and a half points, we have Jeff and Noel. Yay! Woohoo! In first place <laughs> with six and a half points, we have Maggie and Will. Yay! I guess oh. we can get married. Nice job. <laughs> Wedding's still on. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations. We wish you all the best mm-hmm. this weekend and in a lifetime. <laughs> Just Just thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thanks and thanks for spending some time with thanks us. Thanks for coming too. on the show today. Of course. We're your biggest uh, fans. Yep. Baggy, if you will. All right. Jeff, uh, hey, Jeff, do you want to take us a break? Uh, yes, Pete. We'll be right back. Hey, yay! <laughs> For the Swiftcast, Legal Shield and Empowering Family Sense 1972 Dependent Children with Challenges Covered for Life. Your local representatives. N- Nova no, Nola Fantasy 207-776-0302. Thanks, Nola. Thanks, Legal Shield. We appreciate you. All right. Great job, Noel. Jeff, want to take us a break? Uh yes, Pete. We'll be right back. All right, we're back. And what's the time for now? Um, it's time for uh, trivia and a score update, Pete. A score update. Okay, right off the bat, we will go to a score update. All right, in our weekly trivia contest, as we have entered week 43, we've got Jeff with 70 points, followed by Whitney with 77 and a half. Alex with 79 points. Noel, big jump up to 90 points. Ooh, and Ryan, wow. still leading with 92 points. Wow. Yeah. Today, guys, we're going to get back to a national holiday that is celebrated every year on July 25th uh, today. Uh, it's National Hot Fudge Sunday Day. Mm. So I think we can all agree that that sounds like a good holiday, correct? Everybody, first of all, Yes or no? Thumbs up or thumbs down on Hot Fudge Sundays? Noel says thumbs down? No. no. <laughs> Jeff, I think, says thumbs up. No, why don't you like a Hot Fudge Sunday? I don't know. That's probably too big for me. Well, you could have a small one. They come in different sizes. You could make it any size you wanted. <laughs> yeah. Don't like Hot Fudge Sunday, though? Not really. Uh-oh. Minus one point off of Noel. <laughs> Okay, you have here a we go. Down too, Jeff? Oh, uh, what? Did you say you have a thumbs down too? Um, uh, uh, yes, because 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 how far Sundays have a lot have a lot of sugar in them. Well, that could be. They're so good. I'm sure there's a thing like a sugar free hot fudge Sunday, but not. No, that I would eat, but all right. Well, let's get into the trivia here. We got three <laughs> tough questions. Okay. Here we go. What year was the hot fudge Sunday invented? And I will give you a hint. It is way, way, way before any of us were even alive. Okay. And again, we use Price is Right rules. Closest without going over gets it. So, Noel, starting with you. Okay. Something about what, Peter? Uh, <laughs> and take off another point here, brother. What year was a hot fudge Sunday invented? 
Okay. <laughs> you weren't listening. So, but, <laughs> all right, Jeff, what year was the hot pot Sunday invented? Um, I think it was actually um um when it was invented. It was invented before I was born. That is correct. Well, what year? <laughs> We're looking for a year. 1982. Okay. All right, Ryan. Uh, 1875. Okay. 1875. Alex. Um, 1936. Okay. And Whitney. I'm gonna say 1910. Okay. One of you is very close. And it is our leader. It is Ryan. Um, the ice cream sundae was actually invented in 1881. Wow. wow. 1981, Pete. 1881. <laughs> still you are, wrong. Yeah, still wrong. So big point for Ryan right there. Nice job, okay. Ryan. Thanks. Next one. I need you to listen closely. All this means you. I am. Right. Here we go. True or false? The ice cream sundae became a thing because the person that had ordered it ordered an ice cream soda. And in that state, you could not get that on a sundae. True or false? Hey, Pete. Yes, Jeff. False. Jeff goes false. Noel. I go true. Noel goes true. Ryan. True. True. All right. Can you repeat the question? I'm very sorry. Yes. Um, <laughs> the ice cream sundae became a thing because the person who ordered it ordered an ice cream soda, and those were illegal in that state on Sundays. Okay. Is that true or false? And since you asked, let's have a, you answer. I'm going to go true. Why not? Okay. And Whitney. I agree. True. That is, in fact, true. So they couldn't make it with soda, so they just put it in the soda glass still, the ice cream in there, and they topped it with chocolate sauce. And then it made hot fudge. Yes, Jeff? Uh, true. I, that, is, that is correct, Jeff. Mm -hmm. Good job. So points for everybody but Jeff on that one. Okay. And now... Uh, question. Next question on the hot fudge Sundays. There are three states that really fight over being the home of the first hot fudge Sunday. I didn't realize this was so contentious until I dug into the hot fudge Sunday research. But there's three states that actively fight over being first. Name one of them. If you can name more than one, you can get potentially three points here for that. So. What state was it first made in? Alex. Um, I'll go with Wisconsin. Okay. This is Crystal. You want to go for three or you want to just settle oh, for one? Oh, yes. Can I give three? Yeah. Sorry. Wisconsin, um, New York. Okay. Or Ohio. Okay. All right. Whit. I was also going to say New York. Okay. Let's throw in uh, Michigan. Okay. And how about, um, let's say, North Carolina. Okay. Which one? Thank you. <laughs> uh, Ryan. I'd say New York. Okay. California. Okay. In Texas. All right. Noel Paul Thompson. And what's this question about Peter? <laughs> what state was first to invent the hot fudge Sunday? Oh, oh, okay. Chicago. Okay, Illinois. <laughs> Illinois. And um, I think. Utah. Okay. And Florida. All right. And Jeff. Um 
Um, I think uh, number one, I say um, um, Iceland. Okay, United States. Uh, United States is taking credit for this. So, I have not searched any other regions when they brought the Hot Foot Sunday in. But. Uh, um, I I say uh, Wisconsin. Okay. And, um. Vermont. Okay. Yeah. And Wisconsin. You said that already. Wisconsin, <laughs> Vermont, and one more. Um and um Massachusetts. Okay. All right. You guys have got collectively have got all three states. <laughs> so yeah. good job. Um the big two are New York, Ithaca specifically was a big um, factor in this. Wisconsin, yes, yeah, and I say Wisconsin. Okay, and the third is California. Oh. Okay, so Alex got Wisconsin and New York. Whitney got New York. Ryan got New York and California. Uh, Noel. I'm sorry, I did not get any. And Jeff got Wisconsin. All right. So that's a Great bunch job, of guys. points. So that's a tough one. That was a tough one. All right. So let's see here. You guys tell me your favorite Hot Fudge Sunday story. <laughs> and... oh, what, was that the last one, Peter? What about just what, what do you like topics? on your Hot Fudge Sunday? Sure. <laughs> Go ahead. What do you want on your hot fudge Sunday? Um. Um. Like hot fudge Sundays. I, I say um uh hot fudge. And, and, good. And, and the whipped cream and and you know that's it. And, and other uh, other the hot fudge. Cherry on top. Yep. I think I. Well, he is like whipped cream, the sprinkles, and the cherry. Mm. Lots of rainbow sprinkles, lots of cherries. I go with zero. Yeah, you said you don't like them. All right, what are you going to get instead? A strawberry. <laughs> Just a, a strawberry. strawberry. <laughs> one strawberry, please. Uh, plain. Uh, uh, plain? Uh, Just like one strawberry, plain strawberry? Strawberry ice cream? Okay. Uh, <laughs> here we go. Score update, Jeff? Uh, yes, Pete. All right, here we go. We did not have a lot of movement. Um, the rich get richer, I think, is this. Here we go. Jeff, 71 points. Whitney, 79 and a half. Alex goes into the 80s at 82. Um, Noel, 91. And Ryan goes up to 96. At wow. Lead. wow. So next week he may break 100. <laughs> All right. So. Enjoy responsibly National Hot Fudge Sunday Day. Uh, yeah. Jeff, would you like to take us to break? Uh, yes, Pete. We'll be right back. Okay. Hit tips and recommendations. Hints, tips, so, and recommendations with Noel. It is. What are we talking about this week, Noel? It's for a wedding. Tips for weddings. And marriage. And marriage. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, uh, be supportive to the woman who's getting married. It's like gaining a best friend. And Is this a, if you're in the wedding or are you just going to the wedding? <laughs> going to the same, like, in between. So in between the wedding and the marriage? Like, like it like, doesn't matter if you're getting married or just going to the wedding. These are universal tips. Like being there to support your friends or family. Okay. And take your time to, to know the person who is the new person to be their friend. 
I have a question. <laughs> I'm going to a wedding this weekend. What should I wear? Uh, not men with tuxedo, but ladies wear dresses. All right, a dress. <laughs> what if she wanted to wear a tuxedo? <laughs> I don't know how does she look in a tux, but mm. it's up to Whitney. I think I'd rather wear a dress. You're right, it is up to Whitney. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. Yeah. Right. What should I bring for a gift? Oh, how about not a pumpkin? Oh, not a pumpkin. Good no, tip. A, 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 Let me write that down. Actually, not a pumpkin. Not a pumpkin. What if they really like pumpkins? Not pumpkin. A bumpkin. A bumpkin. A bumpkin. Like yeah. a country bumpkin. It, a bumpkin is like a drink or something. Oh, okay. Oh, Probably bumpkin. don't bring any drinks. Oh, yeah. how, how about no pumpkins, like, no drinks. How about like a corsage? Oh, corsage is a gift? <laughs> oh, I know. Um, Fun Town Tessas. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. Good idea. Like a season's pass or just for like the wow. day? Oh, anything. Depends okay. how close you are. <laughs> huh. Jeff, what do you think about that? What's a good, what's your go-to wedding gift? Um, I really don't know. Um, uh, I was thinking um, maybe, a, I don't know, um, maybe a slow dance. Slow dance. <laughs> okay. So no pumpkin, but a slow dance and fun town Okay. okay. No bumpkin uh, either. No bumpkin. No bumpkin. Actually, no bumpkin. <laughs> actually, um, um, maybe a a a fifty dollar massage. It's nice. I thought you were gonna say fifty dollar bill. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, how about you, Peter? How about me? What? What do you prefer as a gift? Uh, to give, I usually write a check. Uh, it's kind of boring, a, huh? A silly dollar even, check? Uh, P- you even, you even, also check, like, you also can check a, if they're registered somewhere, right? Even not a wooden Peter Brown? A wooden Peter Brown? <laughs> uh, I, I, I see... What is that? Uh, I'll give uh, like, like, a thirty dollar portrait, but in sculpture of Pete. <laughs> sculpture of you. It's a wedding. Gift. That would not be a very popular wedding gift. Uh, he, uh, Jeff wants to know if you write a thirty dollar check. Um, <laughs> it depends if I'm also giving them fun town passes. <laughs> oh, actually, uh, hey Pete. Yes. I'll give you a. A silly dollar check for a neck rub. <laughs> uh, no, thank you. Is he giving you the neck rub dollars. or are you giving him the neck rub? Either way, all good. So, and, and I'm not getting married. You should probably say that as a wedding gift. Okay, Noel, any more tips, tips, tricks, and recommendations? I wish I did, but I don't. You know, the last wedding I was at with you, you wore the world's largest fanny pack. Yeah, that was nice. Was <laughs> it was nice. It's good to keep all your accessories, right? Yeah. All right. What's nice? Hey, Pete. What? How about a uh, about a hundred dollars uh, for a massage? <laughs> uh, I'm all set, but that's a, that would be a nice gift. <laughs> so. All right, we um, are getting off track a little. Noel, do you have anything else for us? I I, I do, but it's not from my hit tricks and recommendations. Well, keep going. Go well, ahead. Do we have the Bob of the Week still? Oh, yeah. Would you like to switch to the Bob of the Week? Right. Yep. How about Bob C? Who's that? Bob C. Bob. Bob Cobb. Oh, Bob but, Cobb. Yeah. Bob Cobb. Yeah, former Strive uh Participant Bob Cobb, good friend of ours, um, also passed away. So, 
I I was gonna say, did you all go to the clam festival? Um, I went to the clam festival. I did not. I did I'm not sorry. Either. I did didn't. You? I saw the pig on Sunday. Oh, that's cool, no? You saw what? The bike, on Sunday. The bike race on Sunday. My dad hmm. did that. Huh. It's cool. Wow. All right. Did you guys watch any of the Women's World Cup? Uh, nope, I didn't. <laughs> what? <No. laughs> Did you watch but, the United States? Big game tomorrow but, night. Uh, Mark your calendars. But, uh, um, I, I see. Hey, Pete. Yes, Jeff. Um, I watched the uh, United States soccer, and and that's about it. That's my count. That's the one we care about. The game. <laughs> uh, but, yes. I, I watched that, but um, uh, um, I kind of like guy soccer uh, way way better than girl soccer. Alex is gonna be very mad at you, but why? <laughs> um, uh, 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 because uh, women's soccer is kind of cheap. Uh, 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 what does that mean? Uh, <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, they, they don't have cards. They what? They don't, they don't have cards. They don't have cars? Yes, they do. There are two red cars already in the World Cup. <laughs> and lots of yellow. I think he said cars. Mm-hmm. Like Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, uh, card. Like, card. Like a card. Uh, it was yeah. uh, women in the U.S. <laughs> and they got yellow like, cards. In the of the <laughs> they don't have a yellow card or a red card. It, yes, they, they do. do. And they just, actually, I didn't see that in, the, in, in that. I didn't see it. I think that yeah. there was a woman on the United States team that got a yellow card. Mm-hmm. Um, I, 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 I can see that, but that's why those games are kind of cheap because they, they don't know how to pass. They don't know how to pass. They don't know how to pass? I don't know. They can't pass the soccer ball. They can't pass? No, okay. They can't. We got it. We got it. <laughs> they pass pretty well, <laughs> I think. And it's they can't oh, play my. defense. They can't pass. They can't play defense and they're cheap. Jeff, I yeah. think I'd stop if I were you. Yeah. After the show, you might want to hide from I gotta go. I'm out. But here's the thing, Jeff. Um, the United States women's team has a much better record in the World Cup than the men. That's why I like men's soccer way better. Because they don't win? They suck. Uh, but, um, men's soccer actually play great defense and great offense, but not really women. Okay. I think you should stop the conversation. Okay. Yeah. Back to Noel. <laughs> Your segment. Anything else? <laughs> Yes, I do. Okay, I, go ahead. I I didn't see it because I was asleep, but they did have the the race Saturday morning. Oh, so, the five miler, the clam festival. Yeah. Eva yeah. and Henry did it. Oh, good. Yeah, Holly and Adam. Yeah. Great. How come you didn't do it? Uh, I I wanted to just see it. Uh, can't blame you. It's a Saturday. Okay. Anything That's else it. from your, your nope. segment? Not really. Okay. Then, uh, Jeff, why don't you take us to break? Okay, Pete, we'll be right back. All right. We're back. That's time for. Jeff segment. My segment. <laughs> All right. Well, today, Jeff, we have an email from Lucille from Cape Elizabeth. Uh, okay. She writes, Dear Jeff, if you had a magical ability to understand animals, which animal would you talk to and why? Love the show. Lucille, Cape Elizabeth. Um, I I would like to talk to an animal. Good. Which uh, animal pro- would you like to talk to <laughs> and why? Uh, probably a giraffe. Just mm-hmm. any random... Where are you going to find a giraffe, first of all? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, probably here. Right, right at Strive, there's a giraffe. <laughs> why do you want to talk to a giraffe? <laughs> why would you ask a giraffe? Uh, because I can communicate with it. Yeah, you would be able to communicate with it. What What are some questions you would ask a giraffe? Uh, I think giraffe don't doesn't talk. It just 
uh, uh, trees. Okay, well, this is a magical make believe scenario. <laughs> okay, yeah. Where it can talk and you can understand it. Um, maybe. You can have a conversation with any animal. Um, I think I think, I think uh, hippopotamus. A hippopotamus. Okay. What would you ask the hippopotamus? Hippopotamus. <laughs> um. Ah, was your day? <laughs> okay. A small talk with a hippopotamus. Yeah. Just chit chat with a hippo. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Yeah. I would be like, can you do the like smash the watermelon thing with your mouth for me? Like, if I was gonna uh, ask <laughs> yeah, kind of like that. All right, Noel, how about you? If you could communicate with animals, which animal would you talk to and why? That's kind of a good question. A tough Thank one. Lucille from Cape Elizabeth for that one. Okay, what about? Um, no, he's from a movie. Um, a dog named Beethoven. Oh, Beethoven. Okay. All right. And what would you ask the dog named Beethoven? Can you um go retrieve the Jonas Brothers for me? <laughs> you go retrieve the Jonas Brothers. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. How about Ryan? How about you? You could talk to any animal. You'd be nice to be able to talk to the cats. There you go. We can have that communication. Oh, oh, I wish I could talk to Pete. Oh. <laughs> All right, Ken. Anytime, brother. All right, Whitney. I would talk to my dog. I already have one-sided conversations <laughs> with him. Okay. What would you ask him? All kinds of things. I guess just, you know, whatever's going on in that moment. <laughs> Just like Jeff and the Hippo. How's your day going? <laughs> okay, Alex? Um, I'm going to follow Noel's lead, and I'd want to talk to Air Bud and ask him how he got so good at all those sports. <laughs> Do you think Air Bud and Beethoven the dog are still alive? Probably not. No. <clears throat> all right. Oh, Noel's raising his hand. It's, go ahead. It's your show. So remember when we did for house people? Oh, yes. Full house trivia. Yep. You destroyed but it. There's a story about he played 1998 Buddy passed away. He was Airbud and he was also Comet on Full House. Oh, the same dog on Bulls. Wow. Same dog? Wow. Airbud was Comet on Full House? Because his real name is Buddy. His real name was Buddy. I don't know if that was the real name either. Should we fact check this or are we going to take your word for it? And he's he, still the same dog, though? Yeah, because remember he made that basketball shot when they taught Jesse how to play basketball with Pina but we don't, but Really, though. I, I don't remember, but I will take your word for that. Even but, there, even there, Buds doesn't have the... the but he made it's, a, all make, it's make-believe for the movie. Well, I guess he, if you could talk to any animal, I guess you could probably talk to a dead animal, too. So. Because he made a shot with his nose, and Jesse said, Alex, I don't have fleas. But I don't think, but here's the thing. That, that, was, that was just for, like, moving the show, the thing with the dog. Yeah. Doing, um, yeah. Jesse was trash-talking the dog? I think he was younger and ill, but... but <laughs> yeah. Alex, what's the deal? Um, I'm there? getting conflicting answers. Uh-oh. Okay, so well, we'll good. accept Airbud slash yeah. Comet from Full yeah. House slash Buddy in real life as potential alive dog to chat with. All right. Jeff, anything else for Lucille from Cape Elizabeth? Uh, no, nope, I'm good, Pete. Okay, and if you'd like to send your question to Jeff, you could do so. Send it to us in an email at strivecast <laughs> at pslstrive.org, and we'll take the best ones and answer them right here. On the show. All right. Anything yeah. else, Joel? No, I'm, I'm, oh. I'm great. Okay, Noel, did you have something else to say? And that's how they got Cosmo and Photo House. Okay. A new dog. Yeah. Okay. All right. Because uh, it's the base of the story about the dogs. Okay. 
There we go. Yeah. Uh, Jeff, would you like to take us to break? Uh, yes, Pete. We'll be right back. Stravcast is brought to you by listeners like you. Listeners like who, Ryan? Kim Moru. Thanks for listening, Kim. Thanks, Kim. Thanks for listening, Kim. How can you? How could our listeners be listener of the week, guys? Uh, um, um, write us a letter, or play craps, or something. You can send us an email, or you can uh, call us at, at um at two zero seven. Uh, seven seven four six two seven eight. That's right. Or they could just like one of our posts or interact with us on social media. Tell us you're listening somehow, some way. Good job, guys. All right, Jeff, you want to take us to break? Uh, yes, we'll be right back. Here we go. All right, guys, what's the time for now? Uh- it's time to wrap it up, wrap it up, wrap it up. <laughs> All right. It is indeed time to wrap it up. Uh, special thanks to Maggie and Will for joining us. Congratulations to them as they get married this weekend. And thanks for them for playing the game. Unfortunately, Jeff and Noel dropped to 0-3 in the Newlywood game. But <laughs> yeah. it's all right. We'll next time. If you're getting married and would like to join us in the new year, <laughs> send us an email, strivecast at thisistime.org. The test before you tie it. Uh, all right. So, what else? Oh, Ryan, yeah, are we re- still hiring? Yes, we are. Strive is still hiring. And with a sign bonus of $1,750. Check out pslstrive.org slash employment. Awesome. All right. What else? Bob. Bob Furniture Subway Ham Truck BLT Assembly. Ham Truck BLT. Almost the bon- <laughs> bonus Bob of the week. Even. <laughs> Bob's Furniture Wrap. Okay. Disgusting Wrap of the Week. <laughs> Jeff is happy. <laughs> All right. Anything else before we sign off? I, think- I don't think so, Pete. I think so. Okay, well, thanks everybody for listening and watching or however you listen to the podcast and uh, we'll see you next time. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Thank you.